This week, we're talking about computing inside a container, around the globe, and across the stars. Welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. If you're already building an app with containers, you know there's usually more than just your code running. Google Cloud's Kubernetes apps gives you a simple, integrated way to incorporate open source and commercial offerings into your environment. This means that you can deploy your app faster thanks to pre-built deployment templates, default configurations, and support for popular packaging formats like Helm charts. Build your container once and deploy your full app anywhere with Kubernetes apps. Our Google Cloud Osaka region is now live and ready for business. It's our second in Japan, seventh in Asia Pacific, and 20th region overall. And the benefits aren't limited to just Osaka. A second region in Japan means lower latency and higher availability for existing users in Tokyo. Read more about how this is helping businesses and see which regions we've got coming up next on the blog. BigQuery is great for analyzing big data, and it's hard to find bigger data than astronomy data sets. BigQuery's GIS tools aren't just limited to Earth, as you can read about in the blog post from Dr. Ross Thompson, Google Cloud Solution Architect. Ross talks about how these astronomy data sets can be analyzed and how BigQuery's built-in tools help make it possible to query the stars. This week is KubeCon, and if you're there, come check out all the Googlers talking about Kubernetes. If you couldn't make it, don't worry, because we'll have lots of video content and write-ups after the event. You can also stay informed with the Kubernetes Podcast, a weekly chat about all things Kubernetes. Last week, they talked about what Anthos can do for your operations teams, so make sure to tune in. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Have any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.